this video is gonna be for those you know cowboy wielding gun you know fanatics okay look i love i love my second amendment right okay my to bear arms right but i'm not out here looking for you know using my gun except for hunting and probably target practice or maybe fun shooting you know like on, on the 4 july in the air that was a joke by the way i don't do that stuff that's also a very very stupid you know for people to do that because bullets come up and down right but I'm saying, you know, for all these guys that, you know, like to pull up their guns every chance they get, you know, like, let's say you go to a store, some guy says, okay, you are a stupid guy. Guess what? So, some people actually tend to pull a gun on somebody just for that. You know, and I think y'all cowboy wielding, you know, gun maniacs, y'all need to understand one thing. The gun is the last resort in your life. You know, you should kind of start loving people around you, kind of show them love, kindness. You know, if somebody's cast you out in a store says okay i'm so sorry i know you're upset today i'm gonna walk away why would i have to pull a gun it's not your love is not threatened by anybody you know when they say that unless the guy is holding something in his hand saying i'm gonna kill you you know and charge you that's a different story right but if the guy is actually you know just telling hey shut up you are stupid okay no problem let him say that walk away you know we have a reserved situation right i walk away Sometimes you cannot walk away. All, all the time you cannot walk away. Then then fight. Fight. Use your fist like a man. Like in Wild West, when people would have a disagreement, they would have fight it, okay? They wouldn't have shoot each other as much as they do right now because right now these young generation, they don't know how to fight. They're just thinking gun is just all they have. That's all they're proper to true because they grow up in a, you know, no father household most times and they just don't know how to handle themselves. So basically you have a kids that carry guns at age 16, 17, you know, and they think, oh, I'm the biggest man in this world, right? But I bet you, if a 16 year old that never shot a gun, but just got it, you know, from a friend or stole it somewhere, whatever, I'm gonna tell him to shoot at me at 50 yards. I bet you, you know, that out of five rounds, he's probably missing at least four, you know? And that's, that's, that, that's probably even, probably not even gonna hit me actually. But that's, that, that's what I think as a per person from what I'm seeing on videos when they shoot at each other, you know, in a parking lot, all these, these young gang, you know, and gang members and all that, you know, nonsense. I see that none of them actually know how to handle firearm, you know? And I also think that all these guys that, you know, saying I'm pro second amendment, but why are you pro second amendment? That's the question I always ask. You see, which me, I'm pro second amendment because I don't care if I can hunt, okay? I can use a crossbow or a bow for that, right? Or I can use a spear, right? I'm more for a pro second amendment to kind of keep my other rights into place, you know, because my tyrannical government in the United States of America, you know, at this moment, trying to get the right away from us, right? And if I can protect my country, protect my freedoms, uh, that's more important to me than anything else, you know? And that's the only way you can do it is which firearms because you know when it comes to love and loving people yes you can do as much you want but if there's a tyrannical evil government trying to go after you you know and after everybody that you love you have to defend yourself you cannot just sit out and let them over or you know take you and put you in a prison whatever you want to either escape to different country if you can and if you love america so much you want to stay i think you got to fight you know that's my opinion if that's ever would have happened right in america and i think it's happening actually right now because we have a government that basically is infringing upon our rights not just to a bare arm but every single other right you know and i think as a cowboy wielding crazy maniacs you know in this country that are giving me and other gun owners responsible gun owners the bad name okay in this country and that's why we have a bunch of people saying oh guns are the problem no it's the people it's the people that like you that actually wield a gun just for somebody just saying something to you like hey you know you, you wake up in this morning right you're very upset right you go to walmart and somebody push you with your baggie okay you cast them out the guy with the baggie that just pushed you up by accident okay he's gonna pull a gun on you for example crazy guy you know he just thinks he can put gun on anybody right Guess what? You carry, for example, you, you carry your firearm, right? Guess what's gonna happen? You have a two options. Either draw and shoot him, or try to talk yourself out. My, my first option always is talking myself out of situations. I've been doing that since I was a kid, you know, and it works for about 95, 96% of the times, you know? The little five, six percent that they don't work is which people that actually are determined to hurt you. Most people aren't, you know? Most people just wanna show off, you know? And uh, when somebody's showing off, they are the most dangerous person because they, they don't want to hurt their pride, right? That means they can shoot you farther than somebody actually intending on shooting you, right? But at the same time, 
they are more likely to actually stop it if you're gonna be nice to them and polite say hey sir i'm so sorry it was my fault how can i make this right you know easy as that y'all just need to be so you know excuse me y'all just need to stop being so violent to each other i mean i drive in atlanta the worst is violent city in, in this nation okay like to be honest with you at this point like chicago is probably worse but atlanta is getting pretty bad you know and all these people that you know carry guns down here i want you to carry your gun carry it buy as much guns you want buy a freaking ak or 50 cal i don't care you know that's your right right but my right also is to keep me and my family safe so if you're gonna be out there you know pulling a gun on me you know in the middle of nowhere when i actually shop you know with my little daughter at a store and you're gonna pull a gun on my kid i'm so sorry to say this but i'm gonna defend myself and i'm gonna shoot you if i have to you know and that's what I don't want to do, you know? I don't want to hurt anybody, even in self-defense. But you have to understand this. If you're going to wield a gun on somebody and I can attack myself out of it, I'm going to defend myself. And then you're going to lose your life or get hurt. Let me imagine I shoot you in your knee, right? You cannot never walk in your life. It was that one second, you know, five seconds, whatever, uh, you know, where you said, okay, I'm going to just put a gun on somebody. Was it worth it? Was it worth it of your whole life? You are 20 years old, you know, person, right? Is it whole for the next 60 years on this planet? Is it worth for you not to be able to walk ever? Not have a family, which, not have a family life, none of that stuff? Is that very worth wor to you? Or is it better to just walk away, you know? And people don't understand that, that it's not actually about them anymore. It's about all of us, you know, as Americans, as people, as human beings, to kind of love each other, show us uh, respect, you know? And I love for people to carry their guns. Every time I see these dudes, you know, in like Walmart and whatever, carrying their guns openly, okay? You know what, otherwise I come there and have a conversation. Hey, how is doing? Oh, I like your gun. What is it? Is it a Glock, you know? Oh, it's a Glock. Okay, perfect, cool. But guess what? The way I look at it, okay? You carry open carry, I'm not gonna call you a fool. That's not my right to do that, you know? It's your choice, it's your right, right? But for my personal, you know, safety, I prefer you to carry concealed. You know, and the only reason for that is not because you wanna exercise your right. If you go to one of these shows, whatever, you know, carry open, no problem, right? You're showing off, you meeting up with other gun owners, whatever, perfect, you know? But you know, like a public on a Walmart, I'm so sorry to say this, okay? But open carry is not safe. Not even for law enforcement or military. I'm just telling you this right now from my experience. Everything should be concealed because you have, wanna have the moment of surprise. You wanna look like the guy like me right now. I'm the less dangerous one. You see, I'm a family, I'm a, da I'm a dad, you know? I don't have to worry about anything, right? You don't have to worry about me. I'm not gonna bother you. I'm not gonna out there and do something stupid because I'm not looking towards that, right? But I have the option, you know, of driving on you. Anytime, anytime I need you, I can drive on you right now, right? And you won't even know I carry because I don't look like I do, you know? The thing is, that's the surprise you're gonna get, right? The surprise of me carrying concealed. Guess what? If there's some crazy guy, and let's say in a store, right? And he's gonna shoot somebody, he's just gonna take your gun, easy. If I see you and I need a gun, boom, I come to you, I grab it out of your holster, that easy. You know, you think you have a level three, it takes two steps. One button on the top, boom, one on the side, I pull it out, okay? Easy as that. You don't have to worry about retention, you know? Guess what? I can take your gun, okay? If I really needed to, right? So why why, why it make you think that somebody else does not think that way? Somebody don't have the training to actually, you know, unholster you very fast. The thing is, that's why I even prefer if cops would have carried concealed. No offense, okay? I know they have to kind of have a faster access to their guns, all that, but I would have preferred if they would have actually carry concealed because it would be less likely for them to actually lose their gun in a, like a fight or whatever because nobody knows where on your body it is. Let's say if I carry in my chest pocket right here, right? My little 22 NA, you know, arms gun right in here. 22 Magnum, actually, I don't like 22. I carry 22 Magnum sometimes. So if I had it inside my breast pocket, you won't know, right? But guess what? It takes only this, so I'll show you. If I carry, I just reach over here under my arm, if I had an arm, arm holster, just take it out like that, easy. Just one step, right? The thing is, from open holster, you can do the same speed, or you get a little faster, right? But guess what, everybody sees you carry. So if you really have to defend yourself, it won't, it won't be actually no good. So advice to all these guys, you know, out there carrying, say I carry this and this gun for EDC. You really don't, okay? Because guess what, as soon as you carry openly, the gun belongs to me, okay? Or anybody that has any bad, bad intention or wanna get armed, whatever, and don't wanna go and do a background check and go go buy a gun at the gun store, they can just steal it from you, easy. The gun belongs to everybody, you know, in the Walmart store where you go with open carry, that's my opinion. Open carrying a rifle, that's different, okay? I'm gonna make a little bit short comment on that one. 
So if you go to a Mall of Georgia, for example, right, and you carry an AR-15, they're gonna tell you, get out of here, okay? But if you go in a state park and carry on a rifle with you because you want to have something stronger, maybe maybe you're going hunting, fishing, whatever, I'm fine with that. But I want you to have a sling. I don't want you to have, a, not across your chest, but on the side of you, okay? Or in the back, cross chest like that, arm, sling, or across your arm. Because if you have in a front, it means you're ready for something, right? That looks militarized, looks bad, makes people you know, feel like, hey, okay, this guy is, is about to do something, right? So I prefer when people actually carry carry guns, you know, when, when it comes to long guns, when they carry them proper way, like our forefathers used to, like the baskets when they sling them over, because you can still put your hand right here, you can keep control of it, you can sling it to your belt, sling it down, keep the barrel down, okay? I don't want you to walk around there like, like you know, freaking uh, special forces guy, you know, because you are not. I bet you, most of the people that carry open carry rifles are just kids, basically, like 19, 20 year old kids, you know? Because nobody wants to carry an open carry rifle. I have a, quite a few rifles, you know, that I actually would personally carry open carry if I go hunting, fishing, you know, maybe going on camping, right? I bring my rifle, no problem. I load that sucker up, you know, boom, I put in my truck, I go. I keep one in my truck if I have to. Let's see if I know I'm gonna go camping tomorrow, I bring my rifle, okay? But if I go to a city and I'm going grocery shopping, why in the world I would bring a loaded gun with me in a Walmart, full-size rifle open carrying? Are you out of your mind, America, you know? I have nothing against you to own a gun. I have nothing against you to carry guns, okay? But sometimes you have to have a common sense, you know, when you actually do something like that. You see, I carry knives, okay? Do I carry a big bowie on my hip going to Walmart? Absolutely not. Do I carry one when I go to Woods? Absolutely yes, you know? Do I carry one in my property? Absolutely yes. Do I carry one when I travel? Yes, I do, you know? Because at that point, as, as, as a normally grown American man, you know, kind of understand the point of life, I'm not a threat to somebody when I carry my knife, when I go to rest area, because they know I'm traveling, right? I'm not a threat to somebody that when I go out there and I'm in a boots, you know, and I'm fishing, nobody's gonna even look at it, okay? The problem here is, if you're gonna look for problems, they're gonna, they're gonna always find you, you know? And, carrying your AR sling to you going to Walmart or any mall, shopping mall, yes, you're gonna be a problem. Same with handguns. If you carry concealed, if you have like a, you know, P90, secret service stuff, and you got a nice tuxedo and you carry it under, carry that, I don't care. You carry freaking, you know, 50, 50 car Barrett on your, concealed on you or in your car, you know, I don't mind that at all, you know? And I want you to exercise your rights, but there's a way to exercise them. And it's not the way to exercise your rights by carrying a sling, an AR-15 or any type of rifle shotgun on you going to Walmart shopping. That is, looks, makes you look like a fool, like a crazy person, like somebody that's gonna do something, right? Also, it makes you look unresponsible because what about if somebody's grabbed the rifle, you know, and trying to take it away from you and it fires and it kills a kid at the Walmart, for example. That's what you need to think about. That's just you exercising your right. Be, stop being selfish, you know? It's about the people around you because how do I supposed to feel when you go to Walmart, you know? And you have an AR-15 on, on, on your hip looking like, like, like a Rambo, okay? When you're not, you know? It makes me feel like, oh, this guy is the worst threat because right now I have to worry if there's a shootout and somebody has a mass shooting, I have to worry about that guy because guess what? That guy's gonna be the first target. Somebody's gonna grab his rifle and then I'm gonna have to worry about a rifle being used against me. You know, and I have to drive from my concealment, you know, fire and shoot a person that took your rifle. I don't want to do that. I rather want you to be my help. That means you keep your damn gun in your car, carry a pistol concealed. If something happens, go grab your rifle, help me, okay? If I have to help other people, you know, not getting shot, right? Why would, you know, make the thief or the bad person get a free gun from you? That's stupid, you know? And then also it shows the, it shows the people like, this guy is very unsupposable. He's in his 40s and he's carrying an AR-15 in a Walmart, you know, when he's go shopping with his family. That's just make no sense, okay? If there's a time of war, like let's say when we had to riot, yes, absolutely, you know? I say, if you have to carry a rifle in that case, yes, absolutely, you know? But why would have carried in a piece when there's nothing happening at Walmart, when you can carry a handgun concealed, you know, and still have the same right, exercising your right, carrying, protecting yourself, your family, your loved ones, your neighbors, whatever. So think about this, okay? It's like right and privilege is two different things. You're making my rights to be a privilege in the next few years because the way people acting in this country, which are this craziness, you know, thinking, oh, it's okay to, you know, do this, do this, be selfish, this, this. 
you know, I'm telling you, y'all need to be more responsible with your guns. Out of shooting out of cars, shooting in the air on the 4th of July, New Year. All that is craziness, okay? And y'all need to understand that gun is not a toy, it's a tool, not a weapon. I don't count on knives and guns as a weapon. I count them as a tool because you are the weapon as a person. You are the weapon. No, nothing else on this world makes you a weapon, okay? You are the weapon already when you're born, okay? Because you have a mouth to talk yourself out of situation. You can, you can, you know, this de-escalate stuff. You can kind of, kind of, you know, get away from situation if you know how to work with people. You kind of learned the tactic of, you know, talking yourself out of stuff. Let's say if somebody puts, puts a knife to my throat, guess what? Sir, you know, what you want? Ask him questions. Be nice, okay? I know it's going to be a stressful situation, but guess what? If I'm going to try to pull my gun when he's holding me on a knife point, you know, he's probably going to cut my throat, right? Do I want to let him know at that point I have a gun on me? No, I don't. Because if, if he gets to that gun, boom, I'm dead, right? So I want to wait for the right moment to, to defend myself, you know? Sometimes you got to wait sometimes, you know? Be patient. Sandwich all this road rage and all this nonsense. So I think y'all people need to understand one thing in this country. Y'all need to stop being selfish and stop being so much in a rush, you know? Because that brings nothing good. So hopefully everybody that carries guns and do all the things I just said, you know, it's gonna stop doing it because it's not gonna bring you nowhere. It's just gonna make us good guys that own guns look bad. And it always does, you know? It backfires on the gun community in this country. So I'm thinking y'all should just, you know, leave your AR-15 in your car or at the house and you wanna carry one, carry it where you need it. Like let's say if you go fishing, you may need your AR. I'm not saying you won't, you know? Carry it that way, okay? Go to a pier with your AR, no problem. You're fishing, right? But if you go to a Walmart with an AR shopping, with a five-year-old child next to you, you're gonna look like a fool, okay? That's the truth. And you know, I don't carry a rifle. I own rifles, but I don't carry them unless I really go somewhere where I'm gonna most likely use them, you know? Like, but I'm gonna actually go out there and use my rifle for, let's say, hunting, target practicing, you know, possibly self-defense, you know, against a bear or wild animals. If I go to Alaska, yes, I'll bring in my rifle or shotgun, whatever. If I go to mountains, I will too. If I travel, I will as well if I can, you know? But why I would have do that in a Walmart or any mall or anything like that just to, you know, say, oh, this is me. I'm the free target, you know? So basically, stop doing that, please. Consider yourselves. You know, you are growing adults with guns. You're not a kid. This is not your toy, okay? So please consider that, you know, in this country. That's why we can build our country back to be a normal, you know? Because we have all these mass shootings. You know why we have mass shootings? Because people are impatient. They just want to shoot something just because they got upset one day, you know, because they have all these mental issues, all this, you know, angriness, bitterness, you know, and it's just getting out of control. So please be safe with your gun. Be responsible. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel.